Well, I've been sitting here practicing my speech. I don't really have a subject matter today, not a story to tell as such, but I did want to talk to you a little bit. Year ending, new year beginning. Going to be a lot of changes made, many that we don't even know about. I'm trying to find my Kleenex box. Here it is. Got to get this out, you know. And the nose itches a little bit. So, listen to me. Listen to me closely. Because this is important to me. The old year is ending. And we don't know whether to look forward to the new year or to dread it. We haven't a clue how life is going to begin in 2024. So I'm going to tell you about the last two years for me. You might say, uh, I started a new beginning. This idea of putting Granny Pat on YouTube Oh, what would I talk about? What will I do on YouTube? Now, this was Jan, my daughter, and Jessica, my granddaughter's idea. We are going to give Granny Pat a new life. Now, I was a little scared about doing something I, I didn't even know how to do. But they helped me, and little by little, I've come along, and I've told a lot of stories. Uh, some simple, some pretty interesting, and some, uh, a few that are kind of funny. I like humor in my stories. I really like to laugh, and I like for other people to laugh, too. It makes you feel good. You know it makes you feel good. Sometimes it makes you so feel, feel so good that you have to take a trip to the bathroom to get back to normal. Now, let's see where I do want to go. Jessica gave me some cosmetics. I got a little bit of them on. Now, I didn't do my eyes because I'm not going anywhere. And I just don't like to put on that much makeup. I'm just going to be staring at a, an iPad. But not only am I staring at an iPad, I'm staring at thousands of people. I need to get that through my head that people are watching what I'm saying, what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm going to show you is my Christmas present. Now, this is just one Christmas present. But I think you'll like it. And some of you have already got a hint of what it is. Je Jessica, she's a pretty sharp girl. Very creative. And this is what she did for me. And I want the rest of you to see this. I think you're going to like it. This is a sweatshirt that she created the design. Now, can you see it? There we go. You see the picture on there? The little old lady with her glitzy glasses on, her cat eye glasses. You see what it says, chit chat with Granny Pat. She has created this for me and she's just in the beginning process and we will be selling my sweatshirt. Now, this will come in different colors, I believe. We're just at the beginning stage, so I can't tell you much yet. But you keep watching. And when we get the project finalized, you'll be able to order my sweatshirts. 
Now, that's not going to put me on the map. I don't know what will. But I'm going to tell you another story of what will. A dear friend living right here in Lexington. I call him a friend. I've never seen him before. I haven't met him in person. But I'll guarantee you. I'm going to know him well, getting to know him well. I want to tell you about a contest that one of the television stations has uh, submitted to the public. It's called A Woman Worth Talking About. It's a contest. And nominations are sent in by anybody that wants to nominate a person. This young man has been watching me on Facebook. He's been watching me on YouTube. And by some strange coincidence, he's made a connection with me. Very good connection, just like you have. He nominated me for a woman worth talking about. It's for um, a program called Let's Talk Kentucky. Now, there are, I think, about six women's pictures I've seen so far. Now, I'm going to give you the information so that you can go into this website and see what I'm talking about. There are a few women who have been nominated. Oh, you can tell they're very intelligent, very attractive women, uh, professional women. I couldn't find any fault with any of them so far. And then there's me. These women are younger women, of course. I think I'm the only one aged 87, that's a woman worth talking about. I want you to go to this website and I've, write this information down. Go to Google and put W, T, T as in Tom, V as in victory, Q is in question. WTVQ dot S-E-C-O-N-D S-T-R-E-E-T dot com W-T-V-Q dot second street dot com and scroll down to the one that says a woman worth talking about. Check out the ladies that have been nominated and among those will be my picture. So keep an eye on that and we're gonna see what happens. Um, the contest ends December the 31st, so just got four more days for other women to enter or to be nominated. Now, I'm pretty excited about this. Not pretty excited, I'm real excited. And the young man that has nominated me is even more excited than I am. I can't describe to you how nice he has been to me. And he's doing this for me because he believes in what I'm doing. He believes that I have reached a worldwide audience of people who have a certain need. Each person's need is different. But what I present to you is an overall need, something you can relate to in your own life, something you can learn from. I'm not the smartest girl on the block, but every now and then I can give you a hint, like, um, oh, what was the, what's the lady's name that 
get the household hints. Every now and then I have one of those and sometimes I can present a recipe to you that you'll like and you want to try it out. It's helpful for you, it's helpful to me. I love when I can make you laugh. I took my iPad down to my neighbor. She's 90 years old. She has a caretaker. And I said, she wanted to see one of my videos, a specific one. And I said to the ladies, there's one I want you to watch because it's only five minutes long. It won't take up all of your time. I brought up the story of Granny Pat performs live. Those two women laughed so hard at watching me on that video. It made me feel so good that I could get a genuine, heartfelt, jolly laugh out of these women. That's what I like to do. The heartfelt stories many of you relate to, good stories or bad stories. There's always bad stories. They're just a part of life. And we have to accept those things. So anyway, that's what I wanted to start with, is to let you know about this contest. And who knows? Miracles do happen, you know. And I might be the woman worth talking about. Cross your fingers, give me a little prayer, and we'll see how far we can go, go with reaching thousands more people around the world. And speaking about people around the world, I've received so many beautiful, beautiful Christmas cards. It didn't really matter to me what the card looked like. It was when I opened it up and saw your name that's what mattered to me. You were thoughtful. You wanted to connect with me. And this was one way you could do it. And you have done it. And, oh, land sakes life, you have to put up with the tears too, don't you? <sighs> I received another nice gift today. Not along with some others I've been getting. I would like to name all of you, but I think it's better to keep the names personal. But again, another gift, a few more tears. But these are happy tears. This tells me you don't get too old to make friends. You don't get too old to start a new life. Something that you can be rewarded for. You're, re you're rewarded emotionally. You get up in the morning. I've got to come up with a good story today. What can I tell? So I, you know, the mind still ticking a little bit. Something comes to mind. I'll tell them that story. It doesn't appeal to everybody. But for those that it does appeal to, I've done my job for the day. Now, we're getting ready for the new year. We don't know what to expect. We've got to lean on each other. We've got to talk to each other. We've got to make each other feel good about life. And for two years now, I have felt better than I have in many years. You have opened up a new world for me. 
and I am looking so forward to what comes next. And I hope you're cheering for me. Please do. And follow the woman worth talking about. Maybe you think I'm worth talking about. I know that you are. Now, I had to take my car. Had low tire. Had something on that dashboard. All those little buttons and those little lights confuse me. I don't know what they mean. So I've got the best mechanic ever was. I drive up. He takes the time to fool with me. I say fool with me because that's basically what he's doing. Answering my dumb questions. Things I should know if I'm going to be driving a car. But all those little buttons confuse me. And when these little lights come on, I think, oh, what do I do? Well, what do I do? I run to my mechanic and say, these lights are coming on. What, what am I supposed to do? Get out of the car. I'll take care of it. And that's what he did. Now, I promised him I'd give him a little plug. Yes, he's worth it. Let me tell you the name. Well, first I'm going to show the card. I'll put it up close where you can read it. And you can copy this card if you happen to live in Lexington or near Lexington where you have access to this service. Keep this information in mind. It's called Wheel Service and Alignment Center. And the man I deal with is named Ricky. Ricky's terrific. His wife is terrific. She will bring me back and forth from the shop to home and then come back and get me. And, you know, you just don't get that kind of service at every place that you need work, help car service, but I can count on it. It must have been 15 years ago, one of the doormen that was working here then, I said, I need a good mechanic. I don't know where to go. Who do I go to? And he told me, he told me where the, the uh, shop was, how to get there. I've been going to Ricky at Wheel Service for 15 years now. So I want you to remember that name. He's located on Cox Street. Cox Street is at the end of High Street. You're going mm, west. Yeah, you're going west. You go to the end of High Street. These... These streets change names. You know, you go so far, it becomes another street. So when you get to the end of High Street, you look to the right and you see a sign that says Wheel Service, Cox Street. You go over the hill, down again, and right at the dead end is the Alignment Center. I'm recommend, recommending this man to you because you need him more than he needs you. I'll guarantee you that. And he'll come through for you. So, Ricky, if you happen to be watching this, that's a good-looking car you got on that car there. I hope it's sitting in your driveway. Because a lot of us would like to have one just like it. So that just about covers what I wanted to tell you about. Oh, speaking of greeting cards, and I never know where they're coming from. They come from Texas. They come from Florida, North Carolina, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, on and on and on. But I do have to mention this one. It came yesterday from England. I'm so thrilled 
to know that someone from another country across the ocean is sending me a Christmas card. Thank you, Richard Snow. I won't forget this. I didn't send cards this year. And as you know, it's getting pretty expensive for packages and cards. And I appreciate every nickel and every dime you have spent and the care you have given to keeping me happy. That's what you're doing. You're keeping me happy. So I owe you, I owe you a debt that I want to pay. So stay with me, invite your friend to subscribe to my channel and I'll see if I can't come up with something good and new, but I'm going to end this segment with this. My daughter, Jan, you've seen her now. You've seen her on different stories and she's getting married tomorrow. It's gonna be a small home wedding. Not very many people there, but of course, She's been married before, and each of two husbands died of cancer. So, she's taking on a third husband now. Well, actually, it's a fourth husband, but we won't talk about the first one. Um, he's a good guy. He got my approval. He's going to be okay, because my approval was the main one and I think he knows he has my approval now so they're going to be starting a new life beginning New Year's New Year's Eve they're going to be starting a new life and they'll be living close by so they won't get to stay away from me too much they're going to have to put up with me now and then. And I'm looking forward to seeing how everything goes. You know how it is with the new marriage. You never can tell. So many things can happen. And when death comes upon them so sudden, so quick, life changes, life changes. So we're looking up now. And I want you to congratulate Jan because she's pretty excited about this. So that's my end of 2023 speech to you. I love all of you. I know you're plugging for me for whatever I'm doing because I've started a new life, and I like it, and I hope you like it too. So you have a good day. Maybe you'll get snow for New Year's, that is, if you want it. If you want sunshine, maybe you'll get that too. That's what I'm hoping for, is sunshine. I'm going in and still eating Christmas leftovers. And they are good. It's amazing sometimes how much better food tastes the second and third day as it did the first. You know what I'm talking about. So I'm going in and I'm going to have some potatoes and all these starches. Goodness gracious. I love starches. My corn pudding was delicious. Jan's macaroni and cheese was delicious. Jessica's braised short ribs were very tender. Oh, there were a few other things that we had, but those were the main thing. And we had moose. Moose, you know, M-O-U-S-S-E. -S -S -E, that kind of moose for dessert. First time I have had moose in years. 
Jessica's good cook. And you are our good viewers. You're my friend now. And I want to keep you as a friend. And I'll do my best to tell stories that please you. Or now and then something that might be informative. I've got a little bit of my new makeup on. Just a little bit, but didn't do my eyes. Someone said my hat, eyes look pretty. They look blue, don't they? Can you see them? Blue eyes. My eyes used to be green. Take a good look, folks. What you see is what you get. Have a good day.